They have won the title for the last two Universiades in Taipei and in Guangzhou. They, of course, were led by the great champion, Malgazata Hoab Kolowik. Not here this time. So then, the first heat, Ghana. Inside is Canada. Led off by the woman who reached the final of the 400 metres, Maddie Price. New Zealand inside them. Slovenia with the Trajakovic, Sentry, Leonelic and Skok. The United States of America are next up with Elam, Kerr, Aveni and Pokratsky. The German squad contains the one of the women who reached the final of the 400 meter hurdles and indeed a 200 meter silver medalist in Wesley. Senegal have Mare, Sise, Diata and Mbaye. And on the inside are the Japanese with Hirosawa, Shomi, Yanagiya and Yuasa. Well, the Polish will come up in heat two. Canadians won this title back in 2009 in Belgrade in Serbia with Kimberly Hyacinth, one of their quartet. So away we go then, four women, four laps. The first three in each heat to go through to the final tomorrow, accompanied by the two fastest losers. There are just two heats. There are eight in each, so it's a nice round number. All the lanes are filled. And straight away, the Americans have gone off very quickly in lane four. That's uh, Tana Elam, who is uh, leading them through the first 200 metres. Also going well inside her, the Germans. The Germans with uh, Christina Herring on the first leg. Of course, you won't see the true stagger until they get round the uh, first bend of the next uh, leg, when they will break at the end of that first straight. So then we come up to the first changes then. On the outside, but one, Canada's Maddie Price has handed over to Jenna Westaway. Inside, though, the Germans are now running with Jamila Boom, the woman who reached the final of the 400 meter hurdles. The Germans have quite a strong squad here. A few of their teams did get through to finals, and it looks as though they are going to take the lead as they break. The Canadians trying to battle through with them. Jenna Westaway trying to get there. Jenna Westway, who finished fifth in the 800 metre final behind uh, Katrina Bissett of Australia, of course. But it's the Germans who are coming at the moment. They are leading at the moment from Canada. Behind them, the Americans making a strong fist of it as well with Mackenzie Kerr about to hand on to Brittany Aveni. Still the Germans, though, with the lead at the moment. Christine Salterberg now, well, another woman who reached the 400 metre hurdles final, has it. However, that's a blast down the back straight coming from the Canadian Maite Bouchard. Let's hope she hasn't gone off too quickly. She's really taken that first 200 at quite a lick. The German has let her go. Salterberg will probably bring her back on the uh, home straight unless we find out that the Canadian Bouchard has uh, hidden strengths in this last part. So then. Canada first, Germany second, the United States in third place at the moment, Ghana in fourth, Japan in fifth. And that's a great, great run there by Mighty Bouchard. What a fabulous leg. She didn't buckle, she went off fast and just kept on going and now the Canadian's in a very good position. Don't forget, you don't need to necessarily set the fastest times here. You just need to get into the top three and the first two have easily done that. Japan are in fourth at the moment, but they're about to be caught by the girls coming behind them. Out front though, it is Canada with their anchor woman, Lucia Stafford, taking them away. Germany in second place looks safe in the safe hands of 
Jessica. In fact, of trust. And the Americans coming in in third place to claim the third automatic qualifying position. So Canada will take this. Germany second, the United States third. And Japan are going to come through for fourth place. Well, that Canadian victory all built off the third leg there.